Good morning, people. <clears throat> that was a bit croaky, wasn't it? Um, yeah, just been uh, really busy last few days. Um, that's why I haven't really posted anything. But um, I'm back on it. Had um, had to do the new unsafe situation. Uh, IG, IGM, G11. Um, gas safe uh, exam yesterday. Um, I think they're calling up everyone at the moment to go through it. Um, yeah, it was interesting, to be honest with you. Um, failed the first exam. Great. Um, just shows that you need to brush up on your stuff and know your, know your shit, to be honest with you. Um, but they allow you to retake it, and I got 98% on the next one. So, yeah, if you're going to do the new, um, the new regulations on the unsafe situation, then I'd brush up on it before you go and do it, to be honest with you. Um, but anyway, I got through it, that's the main thing. Um, yeah, so I've uh, got a gas run to do today in the absolute freezing cold. Can't wait for that. Great. But um, I'm going to put a video together um, of some of the jobs that we've been doing over the last few days. And yeah, let's get on with it. Liquid PTFE, never used it before. I'm going to give it a go. Hopefully, I don't get any problems. Um, yeah, I. I don't know about this stuff, but I've got to give it a go, I suppose. Um, yeah, here goes. So, you meant to put it on the thread like this. I really don't know whether that's enough or not, to be honest with you, but um, I don't want it to leak, so uh, yeah. Hmm. Not sure about this. So I've popped it in. It does seem like it's sealed it, but um, yeah, we'll see. Just gonna do the other side now, and fingers crossed. All right, once that's dry, might as well get the old one off. It's all drained down now. Changing it over, as you can see, it's all rusting up. Right next to the toilet, splashing of pee. Does that? The reds off the walls. Going to get these old brackets off, put the new ones in place. This should be a straight swap. Going to change these valves over as well. I don't like these valves, they always leak. So uh, the customers bought some different ones. Um, yeah, so let's get them installed. Right, so I've probably left that for about 10, 15 minutes. <coughs> they are properly in there. I'm quite amazed with that, to be honest with you. Just gonna wipe the excess off. But yeah, so far so good. That's it, first red done. Now for the second one. So 120 going in. Just got to measure the distance between the pipes. Might have to do a little bit of adjustment, but it's going right underneath there. So red's on. Just got to do a little bit of adjustment on the pipe work. And the job will be a good one.
change of plan of my morning. Uh, the gas run got cancelled, family issue or something, it happens. So I'm just at another job at the moment. The British Gas have been out too. Um, they've switched this guy off for some reason. Um, something to do with the electrics or something like that. Um, about to check it all over. I think they're talking utter crap, but um, we'll see. Right, so I've assessed the boiler and um, they're right to uh, at risk it. Um, basically the seal from where the electrical cables come in um, just hasn't been put in properly to be honest with you. Um, but nothing that they couldn't fix because I've done it and got them all back up and running. Um, so, yeah, they're turning around and saying it needs to be rewired, but it really doesn't. Um, there's nothing wrong with the wiring, it's been working for years. So, there you go. I'll show you the finished uh, with it all back up and running. So, it's all back in, rubber seal on it, <clears throat> it's all sealed off. So, now. Why well, they can do that, I don't understand. So the casing's all back on and I popped a couple of screws in the bottom as well, which they could have done. Job done. Turn them back on. Right, that job's all sorted. Um, got them all back up and running. Why they couldn't do that, I don't know. All I had to do is look through the bloody MIs and... Uh, see how it actually installs basically they said it was all broken and you needed this you needed that even though they're paying monthly for um maintenance and the service plan um they were still going to charge them for the parts but they wouldn't send an engineer out to fix it so um you know at the end of the day they've called me out i've sorted the problem out i've got them back up and running and that's the main thing so uh yeah job done Anyway, please don't forget to like and sub 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 sir subscribe I should say um, to our channel because uh, yeah it does help us along and I quite like doing these videos they're quite good um, so yeah we'll see you on the next one.